Hello, this is Amin, and uh, you are watching session eight of uh, ASP.NET Core uh, MVC tutorial. Uh, in this session, we are going to talk about a static file and how we can use a static file in uh, our ASP.NET Core web application uh, project. If you uh, want to use a static file, the same as CSS images or HTML pages, uh, JavaScript, you need to have a www root uh, folder in your project and also use, uh, use static files uh, middleware in your uh, application. Let's flip to Visual Studio and uh, check uh, these uh, options in uh, Visual Studio and the project that uh, we were working uh, uh, among these uh, tutorial. This is the structure of our project. And uh, this is the startup class that uh, we have changed it in previous session. Let me make the lines of code that we don't need in this session comment. I comment uh, the files uh, to, uh, because uh, I uh, want to develop this project until the end of this tutorial. And then uh, you will have access to this file uh, for your reference. Uh, and I'm also, let me change this line. to hello world. First, let's create www root folder in root folder of our project. Uh, right click on the uh, project and select add and new folder and we name this folder www root. This is the place that uh, we can uh, uh, put our static file and application will serve uh, a static file from here. And let me copy image uh, to this path. And we have image one in www root. And let me run the project without uh, using uh, use a static file middleware. And let me browse to image one.jpg. And as you can see, uh, I don't have this uh, path in my uh, project while I have uh, this image in my project and I receive 404 error. Now let me uh, add, use a static file to my project and run the project once more. And let me Go to the path that I have. As we expected, I can see the uh, image one uh, picture when I uh, copy the image in uh, www root folder and I add the uh, use a static file in my project. Uh, but it's better to have this www root folder uh, categorized with images and allocate a folder for our CSS and also another folder for JavaScript file. And let me move this file to images uh, for better uh, organization in the in the application 
I want to uh, add one HTML file to www root folder. I use add new and search HTML files and create an HTML files with name of index, index.html and add one h1 tag here and write hello from index.html let me save it and run the project and as a starter file i can see hello world uh, and i can navigate to a page with a slash index.html and i can see my html file with this path but if I want to have one uh, startup page and when application will run, I will see uh, that page as a startup page. We, you, we should use uh, first one HTML file with name of index.htm or index.html or default.htm uh, or default.html. Uh, we already uh, created a file with name of index.html, but as you saw when I uh, ran the project, I uh, saw hello world message again. But if you want to uh, see the default page, uh, you should use this middleware app that use default files, uh, and you should be uh, careful that uh, this middleware should use uh, before uh, use a static file. Uh, let's prove this uh, fact in uh, practice and let back to uh, Visual Studio. Uh, let's first uh, uh, add use uh, default files after use a static files middleware and uh, run uh, our project once more. And you can see I receive a 404 page, but when I uh, type a slash index.html, the project is up and running and you can see the HTML page, but when I move this middleware before use a static file and save it and run the project once more, you can see the startup file and default file is changed. And when your application uh, uh, starts the process, you can see the startup page as index.html file. But you can set custom uh, a startup file. Uh, for example, I have one another file here, one another HTML file here with name of my HTML. Let me add one h1 tag. Hello from my HTML dot HTML tag. But if I want to change a uh, startup file uh, while I have index file in my project, I have to add uh, a default files option and I have to add this uh, piece of code to my project and then uh, send the uh, default option file to uh, use a static file. Let's do it in Visual Studio and see the result. And let me create one
default file option and name it to default file option as new default file options. Let me first clear the default file names which is index or default htm or html and then add our custom html file name with uh, default file names that add and my file name is my html.html and then put this option file as parameter of uh, this middleware default use default uh, files let's run the project and as you can see my startup file has been changed to my html dot html but we have another option to uh, merge do these two middleware use default files and uh, use a static file uh, together and i can use uh, uh, use file server in a instead of uh, both middleware and let me uh, comment these lines and instead of default files and app dot use a static file use file server uh, when i run the project uh, i can see uh, index.html uh, as a startup file again as uh, expected index uh, file uh, index.html file is a startup file and this time I can use another file option instead of uh, default uh, file options, which is related to use file server uh, middleware, which names is file server options and I create an object of this type and this time file server options dot default file options and dot default file name dot clear it somehow look like a previous one and here instead of default file options dot default file name i use file server option object dot default files options dot default file names dot add and now I added my HTML dot HTML file as a startup and then pass this uh, object to use file server middleware. Let me save it and run the project. You can see uh, as we expected uh, the startup file uh, of project is uh, my HTML .html file. Next session, we will show you how you can serve static files outside of www root folders. Text version of uh, this video is available uh, in uh, description. Also, uh, you can have access to link of our social media and slideshows of this tutorial in description. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching.